Theater is collaborative by nature. Actors must work together to create a play. Technicians must work with the actors to create the magic of a setting. In our classrooms, however, we tend to work in small groups, but cut out the collaboration between groups. I'm always amazed at what my students can create when they are allowed to collaborate and contribute. I really started to incorporate collaboration after working with the theater and media communications curriculum that uses DAR and think, pair, share, and all of its lessons. I brought those same activities into theater one through four, and the results were wonderful. This also allows for the diversity of student levels and abilities to shine. I don't have to create new lessons, simply adapt the ones I was already doing. Here are a few examples. Normally, monologues would be a solitary assignment. Now after students brainstorm about what they want to write about, I have them get into groups and share two of their story ideas. Their group members can now give feedback on post-it notes or give a two-sentence reflection about the ideas. Also. After students have a rough draft, we can get into groups and repeat the process. This way students can see if their story is clear or get ideas from the group about possible edits. Duets have always collaborated with a partner. To make the scene more dynamic, pair them with another duet and they can share rehearsal time. Duet A can show their scene to duet B every day during class and receive feedback. They can also ask Duet B for directional advice, and vice versa. Groups of four can also collaborate on character analysis and have Q&A sessions during rehearsal about their character choices or blocking, etc. Group collaboration on choreography has been very beneficial. If a song has a dance break, I will break the class into groups and allow them each to take one section and decide on steps. Then they can bring the steps back to the group and the group can collaborate to learn the steps and make suggestions as needed. Collaboration also works when making music videos. Students take turns behind the camera to get the chance to have a different point of view. Everyone gets a chance to be in the driver's seat. Keep these things in mind when using student collaboration. 1. Let students try and fail. Even if you know the plan won't work, let them figure it out for themselves. This makes them better problem solvers. Two, remember to stay a sounding board. It's easy to see a better way, but be careful not to make their ideas your idea. Just listen and respond without editing their ideas. Three, it's easy to want to work on things while they are collaborating, but staying present to help answer questions or inspire students to stay on track is important.